Hey guys, welcome back. Bob Grows here. We're gonna do a little February 2020 update. Uh, we're about halfway through February now and I've made some adjustments. Everything is growing very, very well and we're gonna showcase that right now. As you can see, the giant papaya, the hydroponic papaya is gone and that's because it was very unstable here. It broke the lid on my Dutch bucket uh, set up here and I'll show you in a second. I swapped it out for a fig because figs have been growing very, very, very well uh, in the system down the line, which I will show you. So I removed the papaya and this is why. It was leaning and tilting and it was just way too big of a plant to be in my hydroponic system. Uh, Cause it needs a lot more support. It's not like a vine, which I can trellis up. Uh, it's a very heavy, tall plant. So I swapped it out for a brown turkey fig, just like we'll see later on how well the other one is doing. This one was in the ground and it wasn't growing well at all. It was completely covered by grass and I think it was just lacking water and nutrients, uh, pretty much all it needs, correct, and sunlight. But it had sunlight, just the water and the nutrients were very scarce, uh, scarce rather, and um, scarce. So I took it, I dug it up and I put it here. Uh, the media here, obviously you can see is lava rock. You don't need fancy uh, hydrogen clay like I have here. You can just use lava rock. As always, the water level's down here. Let's run through the plants. This is a, this is a sucker I removed from that uh, tomato plant. And you can see, boy, is it growing. We have all kinds of flowers coming in. We have another sucker here, a sucker here. It's just absolutely growing. I'm gonna let it keep going because we have tons of tomatoes, which we'll get to. This here is my cayenne pepper, which many have said it's not cayenne pepper because on my uh, other plants in soil, it grows upward. Well, on this one, it grows downward. And we'll see here just how vigorous this is. <laughs> Look at, oh my, I don't even know what to say. They're just purple flowers everywhere, fruits. I don't know what happened. Everything just started growing like crazy. I don't know if it's a change of weather or if it's the new system that I have here with the lower water level. Something is making this grow crazy. I've also been more diligent maintaining the water supply, more specifically the nutrient ratio. I've been keeping it between 800 and about 1300 PPM. Here you can see these tomatoes. I have never grown tomatoes like this. This is just crazy. Let's go down here and take a look at the bucket. I know you guys have been telling me about the algae, but uh, I'll get working on that. We gotta block these out. I'll probably put a black t-shirt over these buckets, but let's look at the roots. Look at those roots. Absolutely beautiful. Like always, the water level's down here. Sorry about that, the exposure got wonky. Again, I don't know what to attribute the growth to. A lot of this is the same. However, the newer water levels lower is, is absolutely new. I was not doing that before. And it seems like the air, the exposure of the roots to air is really making this take off. Kind of the air pruning effect. Um, all of these buckets are currently the same. Just take one more gander at those tomatoes. Those are beefsteak. Over here we have a Carolina Reaper. Look at this. Look at these leaves. Massive, massive growth. This is just one plant. And you can see what's going on down here. We are gonna have some hot boys shortly. Some very hot peppers. I can't wait to see what they look like. I do have one pepper on my soil grown and it looks rather spicy. It looks gnarly, all bumpy and grainy. I haven't got one here. This plant looks a million times better, so I cannot wait to see the peppers. Let's move on over. Here we got the beautiful reservoir. Everything the same here as usual. And this is my cloning tray, bucket, bed. These are all uh, Red Robin or Tiny Tim tomatoes. These are all determinate type, super tiny here. And they were seedlings in my soil and they weren't growing. They were, growing, they were just stuck there. I placed them in here and they've absolutely taken off. This is a cutting, this is a cutting, and that's a cutting. These two are seedlings. This here is a cutting from a sucker. Just in case you don't know what a sucker is, I'll show you one. 
this would be a sucker right here where in the middle of a, of a, of a leaf and the main stem it just grows out see here here's another one sucker and you can take these and place them right into the media and they'll start growing so that's what I did and you can tell already we got tomatoes I just took it stuck it in the gravel and it's producing tomatoes absolutely awesome I don't know if I mentioned it already master blend tomato formula calcium nitrate magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt that's all that goes in here this is the brown turkey same as the new one that I placed back down at the first bucket we will see how that grows but do I even need to tell you about these figs I mean do I even need to explain how prolific this is right now it's crazy it's huge it's growing into the walkway everywhere the leaves are massive beautiful standing upright here we have the uh, parsley we have a, a rampant basil cutting that I put put here and it's growing these are sweet peppers and <laughs> Just the color is everything is really really good i did spray down a lot of these uh a couple days ago with neem oil and dish soap to help combat white flies uh that's what they look like underneath the pepper plants specifically but check this out beautiful mini sweet peppers and they're everywhere leave a comment below if you want to see some how to's Maybe I could do a complete from scratch setup of these buckets and maybe uh, a price guide, right? So you guys can know what to work with. Look, here we have some more tomatoes coming in everywhere. Anyway, thank you guys. Like and subscribe. Peace.